Hello, hi, hello, how are you? Black Mirror season six is currently happening. It's just so crazy that like before Black Mirror didn't have like all these like well-known actors and stuff and they do now. Like I am like three minutes into the first episode and ew. I just wanted to check in and let you guys know about the Black Mirror thing more than anything. So if you guys do watch it and it's on Netflix, um, this is my reminder to let you guys know that new episodes are ready to go. I also, last night, my order's done that I needed to get done. So I got my EKG done and I got my chest x-ray done and I was going to get my ultrasound, but they told me, oh, you have to schedule an appointment for that. And I didn't know, but I think just like miscommunication happened, which is totally fine. So I went to call today and they don't take my insurance. I, I just feel like frustrated because like I changed insurances at the beginning of the year and, and I just feel like nowhere takes my insurance and it's just becoming super frustrating so eight hundred dollars for an ultrasound on my gallbladder that's a no and i'm having to um call around and see who takes my insurance and, and i'm just it's frustrating it's frustrating for how much i pay a month for this insurance you think that more places would accept this insurance so it's just it's just frustrating but yeah i've been productive later okay guys so we're gonna try something really weird that i saw people eating and we're gonna try it just all vegetables? Who wanted all vegetables? It's two separate things. First thing we're gonna try is hearts of palm, but I've been seeing people try it and like it and eat it, so I figured why not give it a go? Ooh, it does not smell that good. Holy crap! Do you see what I see? People are saying that it reminds them of like artichokes, and I used to have an artichoke bush. That's what she said. That's what she said. And I used to have an artichoke bush. Since you were like knee high to a grasshopper. Okay. It literally looks like mozzarella cheese. All right, let's go. Mmm. Not bad. I will say it's a little more sour than artichoke, but it's decent. And people have been saying to add mustard to it. Do you see what I see? So, okay. Here's some mustard. Wait, with the mustard? A million times better. And then now a raw Brussels sprout, which is already washed and ready to eat. I'm not really a Brussels sprout girly. I've definitely never had it raw. But I guess with mustard, it's supposed to taste good. Hmm. That's not bad. Do you see what Do I you see, see? What I see. Tastes like a salad with mustard. Hmm. You wouldn't catch me eating it every day, but it's not bad. You know what I'm saying? Much, much, much later. Okay, so I wanted to talk about four like triggers I have when it comes to like overeating or falling off track or eating when I shouldn't and what professionals tell me to do. But I do suffer with like overeating. I wouldn't be the size if I didn't. So this isn't like triggers for binging or anything like that. So one of one trigger for me is like unwanted emotions slash like wanting to escape those. And I do feel like say it's overwhelmed, anxiety, you know, sadness, depression, and I want to like turn to food to like numb that out. I can't stop eating. I eat because I'm unhappy. I'm unhappy because I eat. It's a vicious cycle. <laughs> um my therapist said turn to hobbies instead it like seems so obvious that is why i do have so many hobbies and legos whatever it may be because like turning to those things actually helps me a lot so the second trigger for me is like other people's opinions slash like assumptions on the food that i'm eating actually you know what a really good example is actually my newest vlog um i was having some homemade rice broccoli and like this honey garlic chicken that feline made and a lot of people's like opinions and assumptions based on just that meal alone was triggering for me um people were assuming they knew how much rice was on the plate like things like that is highly triggering and from a professional standpoint my therapist says when i notice that that's happening more frequently and to just simply show less of what i'm eating i know showing my food is a popular want when it comes to this community people want to see what i'm eating but 
I need to do less of that because I do notice it like triggering me. Third thing is like if I'm watching a TV show or like watching YouTube, whatever it may be, and someone starts eating something, like that is highly triggering for me. So before I even thought of binging, I was having a pretty good night. And then I was actually watching a vlog where someone showed a bag of chips. That's all it took. Someone showed a bag of chips. Like if it's like chips is a big one, Chinese food for some reason is a really big one. Pizza is also weirdly one for me. I don't even like pizza, but I'll order it. And I'll order like two, three pizzas. We'll get a few sides and like, I just go to town. I just sit there and like eat a bunch of pizza. Like there's like certain foods that definitely trigger that. I used to just like endure the pain. Um, I used to watch, watch a lot of mukbangers. Like, even though I enjoy the person, it's like I just can't do it because it is so triggering. So the last one is like certain activities. Like if it's like movie night, I automatically want to like order in dinner and like have popcorn. Or um, if we're playing like Mario Party, Mario, Mario Kart, because like in the past, my brain automatically goes to, okay, so this is an activity where I usually would order food and like eat while playing because food is about fuel, but it's also like, you wanna feed your body, but you also wanna feed your soul and you need to figure out how to like do it in moderation. Because like, seriously, like date night, movie night, like my brain just correlates that with like a really good unhealthy meal. Those are things I'm just learning, like my four top triggers currently and how I can kind of live my life around them without it deteriorating me completely. Introducing Lenny Craig's Weight Loss Summer. Lose four pounds for just $400. Just look at me. Jealous? It's okay. Lots of people are. People like to have sex with skinny people. Don't you want that? It's three easy steps and you're on your way. Fat ass. All you gotta do is go to LennyCraig94.com. Call 1-800-94-LENNY or visit www.LennyCraig94.com. It'll be fun. You can do it. Lose the weight now. Feline wrote this about a week ago. You and me against the world. Now it's my turn. Whoa, you, you can see some of the past things that we've written on here. That's so funny. So we ultimately just go back and forth. Oh, it's blurry. I love that for you guys. So that's what I wrote. Mail time. The mail's here. Here's the mail that never fails. It makes me want to wag my tail. When it comes, I want a whale mail. All right, you guys, it is time for some P.O. Box openings. So the first thing I open, and it's from Claire. She also sent me this Scratch It Jewel with Jewel Tone paper, which I love stuff like this. So that's going to be super fun. Aliens, have you guys heard about what's going on? The government's finally being honest about aliens. <laughs> There's a kitty cat, astronaut. Like, I absolutely love this one. This one is my favorite because if you guys know anything about me, I am a dinosaur girly. And then that one says smile. There's just so many cute ones like this flamingo. Thank you so much, Claire. Okay, so this next one is a painting. Her name is Saima. And she also wanted me to give a shout out to her brother and cousins, Wasim, Nazish, Maya. She knows that Bora Bora is my like dream is to go there. So I just think it's super cute that oh my god, that she thought of doing this and it's so creative because I remember I was sitting on a chair. That's a huge bitch! One day I will be there for real. Just look how gorgeous that is though, for real. Alright, so the next things I'm going to show you guys are some postcards. Um, this one is from Artemis who actually painted this. It's beautiful, thank you. And then this one is from Rebecca, thank you. I love a postcard. This postcard is from Arnott, thank you so much. So I wanted to show you guys that this is where I keep all of my notes, letters, cards that you guys get me. So it's like, I need a new way of organizing all this. So like I even save the Amazon gifts that you guys write me. So right now I am just going through every single thing that you guys have ever sent me. And, and I realized that like the first shelf, majority of that was from live stream era. Oh my God, look. Someone drew Twinkie were during live stream era was I, when I wasn't really talking about my P.O. Box and it was mainly just like something that I would mention pass mention in passing. Okay, so I'm covering that for privacy, but here are all the letters. Here are the cards and the postcards. 
here is the art look how cute that's the first piece of art i actually ever received so i don't know if i ever showed you guys this but uh, my brother was in prison and he had someone draw this for us this is my brother my mom and me it's just like really special to me i was not expecting that when he sent it for sure okay you guys so i have a ton of laundry that i need to put away i'm about to do that and then i have to edit this video and get it up for you guys so i'm making the content that i like to watch i like when my favorite vloggers literally just stay at home and do nothing it is the best but anyways hope that you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in my next one bye i'm always trying to see through your flaws because i know that you got so much more to give